Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video I like to talk about the brand new feature and it's actually not a brand new feature anymore but I like to talk about the new NVIDIA RTX HDR feature and I like to compare this one with native HDR and I choose the game Cyberpunk for this comparison and of course I like to see if SDR games like The Banisher are actually improving when you enable this feature. This and a little bit more in this video. In order to use the new HDR feature you must download NVIDIA's new app and correct me if I'm wrong but I think it is still in beta status but no worries at all it's actually working almost without any issues okay almost okay so all what you have to do is then press alt f3 and you get this menu here where you can add the yeah supported filters let's call it like that okay so what I found is that as soon I have connected my second monitor I can't use RTX HDR okay so I had to disable so physically disable my or disconnect my monitor actually in order to use RTX HDR okay so also what I found is that every time when I enabled or added this filter to a new game I had to restart the game okay so that's not a big deal because that's just one time and then the filter is supported okay what buggers me a little bit is the second monitor because, because I would like to use this so hopefully this get resolved or fixed at some point so that's what you get then you have peak brightness setting maximum is 1000 nits at the moment I'm not quite sure if this gets improved or not at some point we have the middle gray nits where you can you can see uh, do a lot then we have contrast and we have saturation so what we are not going to do in this video is talking about those settings okay because this would be it would be too much for one video okay so all what I have done is actually so I left all the sliders in the uh, standard factory setting and I just actually changed the peak brightness to 1000 that's all what I have done and that's where I have started my comparisons so I know that's probably not the best way to do it because maybe you would need to um, set the sliders a little bit different to have a better experience but they're giving us standard factory settings okay like this one here so I'm expecting that the NVIDIA's, NVIDIA um, software engineers that they know what they're doing okay so I'm expecting this okay I'm not not saying that this is correct I'm just expecting this from a multi-million dollar company okay so that's why I have decided we starting with this one and if there is a lot of demand or if there if there are a lot of views for this video I'm more than happy to talk about those sliders a little bit more because I'm I'm pretty sure that in future HDR recommendation videos I will most likely going to use this feature anyway so what you can see here right now is one of my comparison video cyberpunk 277 native HDR compared with Nvidia's RTX HDR and I like you to tell me now which one is which actually because if you just look at this picture at the moment or the video or the comparison it's not that simple we probably would need to stop the video at some point the comparison at some point to get you a better picture actually to get you maybe a better view on the comparison because if we just playing a game let's say like this and we're not focusing on details it's probably very very hard to see a difference between RTX HDR and native HDR at least in Cyberpunk 2077. When we're now looking at this then I think it's a little bit easier because now we can see the analysis and if you watched my HDR recommendation videos to Cyberpunk 2077 then you know that we have one um, big issue with this game. I wouldn't say big. I wouldn't say big but it's a, it's a bummer. It's a disadvantage. We have unfortunately not a perfect HDR black level race in this or black level floor not black level race. We have black level race but we have not a perfect HDR black level floor in this game. And therefore now it should be much easier actually for you to spot which one is the NVIDIA RTX HDR picture or video or game because there is no issue with the HDR black level floor and this is a big advantage over the native version. Okay so what is my first summary when we're talking about native HDR versus yeah 
AI controlled HDR. I don't know how to call it actually. Nvidia's RTX HDR. So and my conclusion is actually not not it's not easy because there is no clear winner in my opinion because it really depends what you like more. And I have a very I like I just say it, NVIDIA's RTX, I like it better in Cyberpunk 277. The reason is very simple. So we watched my comparison and what we found is that we have no HDR black level rays with NVIDIA's RTX HDR. So that means the contrast is already better. Even, let's say like this, um, the maximum peak brightness is limited to 1000. But the fact that you have now no HDR black level rays makes it just the better picture, okay? So with, in, with the native HDR support or implementation, um, the advantage is we have better specular highlights, okay? More details in specular highlights. But I told you this already, um, this is in my opinion not the most important yeah, part or feature in an HDR implementation. The HDR black level floor is much more important. And when we're looking at this at the moment here again, it is clear that NVIDIA's RTX HDR has an advantage over the native HDR, at least in Cyberpunk 277. Okay, so this is of course to consider because if we would now compare, and most likely I'm going to do this, if we're now comparing a game with a perfect HDR black level floor, then most likely the conclusion is slightly different because then there is no point actually to use NVIDIA's RTX HDR. And <laughs> There's a reason for it because we're talking about performance a little bit later because yes, we have performance loss and I'll show you this in a little bit, a little bit later, okay? But if we would have perfect HDR black level floor, then there is no need for RTX HDR. That's my conclusion. In this game, on the other hand, NVIDIA's RTX HDR is a big advantage. And now let's talk about SDR versus NVIDIA's RTX HDR. And I know that maybe some of you missing outer HDR, but I think that even this game does not support outer HDR at this very moment. So that's why I'm not comparing outer HDR with any of the games today, okay? So that's how it is. But what I found is SDR versus NVIDIA's RTX HDR, it is just really nice because we're not adding, or how should I say, we, with the SDR implementation, we have already a perfect HDR black level floor. Now on top, we have nice specular highlights. We are not changing anything on the HDR black level floor. That means we have actually a much better picture. Contrast is really superb. I wouldn't say it's maybe comparable at some point with native HDR. As always, it really depends on the HDR implementation, but NVIDIA's RTX HDR makes, at least in the Banisher, a much better picture. SDR is nice, but as soon you enable RTX HDR, it's in my opinion a different game. So far, NVIDIA's RTX makes a really good impression to me. The only thing what I found is that, and this is most likely a separate video because um, I haven't touched the sliders at all, but I found that as soon you enable NVIDIA's RTX, you have a oversaturated picture, okay? So I'm not quite sure if we have more color information or if NVIDIA's RTX HDR is just adding more color volume. I really don't know. I need to analyze this, but this is what I found. And I am very sure you saw it in the Banisher comparison because um, as soon you enable RTX HDR, you have a warmer, you have a colorful, a more colorful picture. Okay. If this is um, the right thing to do, I'm not quite sure about that. I personally have to say I like it better. I like uh, a more colorful, a more 
a warmer picture better okay as long it's not oversaturated like crazy okay i'm fine with that okay so this is what i'm probably have to look into it if what is happening okay i really like to understand if we're really adding more color volume more more color information or whatever okay but this will be a separate video and now let's talk about performance and unfortunately as soon you enable rtx hdr you have performance loss in the case of cyberpunk 277 it was around 5 fps with my combination of a 4080 and a 7950x 3d cpu so i'm not quite sure if there is a different behavior or different behavior actually between different pc paths let's say you have a, a different cpu or a gpu not quite sure about that in my case it was 5 fps and i have to say 5 fps is not uh doesn't sound much but it of course depends what base frame rate we're actually talking about so in this case it was around 80 90 fps 5 fps less not a big deal okay my friends so what is my conclusion right now rtx hdr on or off and after i tested two games i tested actually more games like resident evil as well but i'm not spoiling here anything for my next video um i would clearly say rtx hdr on yes we have a performance loss yes 5 fps in my case here with my gpu cpu combination and again i don't know if this will change the performance gap you know between native hdr and rtx hdr if you use different gpus cpus i don't know about this and maybe there's also an improvement at some point you know with different drivers and stuff like that okay so anyway in my opinion absolutely worse to use rtx hdr because not really a disadvantage performance loss yes but we have much better hdr black level flow and cyberpunk and yes i know the um, specular highlights are still better in native hdr okay so we can actually see this here uh, in this comparison that uh, here the windows here actually overblown here you can't see details here details okay native hdr better but we had this topic already when you play the game you don't have time to focus on that stuff you know you can't focus on specular highlights all the details and whatsoever so that's why i think hdr black level floor is just much more important it is important because you can see here right now and yeah the number it it does look small 0 0.05 nits and here zero at some point you know so this rtx hdr implementation is reaching zero nits at some point here we have always always around 0 0.05 nits and it doesn't sound much but believe me if you have a side by side comparison you can actually see it and you can see it even better in real when you look at a on a screen okay so that's why rtx hdr in this case here absolutely to recommend so let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see more about this i'm happy to do more testing just let me know what games i should test and yeah then i will see you next time thank you